<laughs> All right, come on. Hello, you guys. Welcome back to my channel. As you can see from the thumbnail and uh, video title, we are thrifting today. Today is 50% off at one of my favorite little local thrift stores. And I haven't been here in a little minute, so I'm going to head in. Um, I, I do have a few things on my wish list that I've probably mentioned in a, the last video. And I'm also kind of looking for uh, like repurposed thrift gifts to give to my family. But just kind of letting what comes to me come to me. I realize that I don't have a lot of like basic long sleeves in my closet. So that is also something that I'm looking for is like little basic tight long sleeve shirts and things. But yeah, just kind of checking out what this thrift store has to offer. And saying my little mantra before I go in, which is I don't lack, I attract. This world is abundant, so what's meant for me will find me. And yeah, that's just kind of the mentality I like to have when I go into the thrift store because I truly believe it. You guys i'm sorry i didn't show you anything in there it was next to impossible with the music blaring and then i didn't get a cart for like the first hour so i was just holding everything in my arms which was a lot of stuff so i'll just show you guys um in a little bit maybe when i get home i'm gonna run over to the goodwill it's right next to us right now and i'll show you a little thrifting inside there because they always have baskets so let's head over to goodwill Let's try this again. <laughs> this is kind of cute oatmeal. I don't always love the necks like this though when they're like the mock neck, but I love the color and texture on that. I'll put it in my cart, but I don't know. I'm trying to stay away from mock necks. I don't like the ones that make this noise. I've realized. These are kind of cute though. Looking through all the scarves, there's a cute little Steve Madden one. I feel like I have a bunch of these and don't wear them very often, but it's only three bucks. It's kind of cute with the purple in there. Cool, like boho bag, super large. But it's twelve ninety nine, and it's too summery for right now, so I'll leave it. But it's really cool. this plaid forever 21 coat i really like the colors in the plaid and honestly the fit is pretty nice too <laughs> the last thing on earth i need is another coat i literally don't have any more room for coats but i really do like this this is pretty cute i found this little what's it called melrose melrose place or something it scrunches on the side and it's kind of wrinkly i think this is pretty cute but I'm not gonna be wearing it for quite a while. And I don't know what kind of bra to wear with it, so I'm gonna say no to that. All right, you guys, I just got into the car. 
I found a few things, only one clothing item, but I also found a bunch of jewelry that was really fun and I'm excited to show you. And I think like a houseware, what else did I get? Yeah, houseware, jewelry, a clothing item. So I need to go grocery shopping and then I will show you guys everything I got when I get home. Hello guys, we are back. We are with the doggies. They are taking their naps. <laughs> I feel like that's all they ever do. But I figured I'd show you guys the haul really fast and there was one or two other little things that I got around this week that I didn't film a video so I just thought I'd toss them in as well. But first up, we're gonna go with what I got at Goodwill because I feel like I like the stuff from the Goodwill <laughs> the most. But there was some good little pieces from the first thrift store and it was really affordable. These were the American Eagle little cargos. I did not try these on in store because I was feeling lazy. <laughs> they were $8, but I just really liked the color and the style. I realized I don't like those ones that are like really swooshy feeling material that's kind of like waterproof or whatever. I don't like those as much. But I like these, I like they were a straight leg, so, and they're also a color of cargo that I don't really have. I have a lot of green ones, but that was the only clothing item I ended up getting at Goodwill. Oh, I also found a little belt over there by where I was trying on all of the clothes. This was in with the men's belts, which just shows you that when you're thrifting, you should always check out all the sections, even the ones that aren't your sizes or, you know, meant for you, because things get put all over the place. And I feel like these really huge, chunky belts have been really popular amongst the Gen Zers. And they don't even put them in the belt loops. They just like let them hang on the pants really low. And I thought this one was cool with all the studs. It was only $4. I don't see a brand anywhere, but yeah, very on trend for kind of what's going on right now. I've been getting more into housewares lately, which is fun because in the past I used to only look at really clothing and then just like barely look at housewares unless I was looking for something specific. But lately I've been a lot of housewares and I've been scoring. So first up, this little dish right here, I think this is a, oh yeah, it is the Target brand, um, Hearth and Hand, Joanna Gaines's line. And this is just so perfect, I think for like chips and dip or like vegetables and ranch, something like that. So I got that for hosting when we have people over or when I go to somebody's house and I make a little like chip dip. Oh my gosh, recently, just today, I saw this little, I think it was like a, ch a creamy pig pickle dip. I'll put the video right here if I feel like it. Um, but it looks really good and it was like, it has like pickles and I think like cream cheese and yeah, it looked delicious. This one was $4.99, $5, which is probably like 20 to $25 at Target. So that was awesome. And then as far as the jewelry, I'll start off with the really exciting one. I found this hanging up, not in the case and I've been telling you guys that I've been liking all the quirky jewelry, like colorful beads and just like really fun and like funky, um, almost like eclectic jewelry. And I saw this and I just thought it looked really cool. It's like black and white ceramic beads and then this cute ceramic heart at the bottom. And it was $5. So I was like, yeah, that's so cool. I love it. Like very quirky and fun to layer with, or I don't know. I've been getting more into non-metal jewelry and like beads and colors. And then I looked on here and it says Ruby Z on one side, Ruby Z and then Candice Lowheed, Lowheed. And I looked this up and these are selling for like, a lot of the brand Ruby Z is a little ceramic necklaces sell used for like $125. So I just thought that was super fun and cute. And sorry, I'm gonna go on a little bit of a tangent. I hope you guys understand, but I have been low key obsessed. Well, I've been more like artsy, feeling more artsy. I've been doing watercoloring and mixed media. And I've also been doing like collages in a little notebook and cutting up old magazines and things like that, buying books at the thrift store that have pretty pictures to cut up. And I've just been feeling creative, especially in the winter time. I think I have to do like more indoor activities, but I just wanna do something that I enjoy and I went down a rabbit hole last night about clay charms for necklaces and people doing different like air clay, air dry clay and the little oven bake clay and then painting them and making keychains and like little things for their friends and figurines and cute little beads and stuff like that. 
So let me know in the future video if you want me to show like in a vlog or something me trying to do some I think I'm gonna order some of the clay on Amazon tonight And I like all the little painting I like to like paint nails and like little precise things So I just thought that would be really fun and this kind of sparked the idea and then seeing it on TikTok really got me going So yeah, I just really liked that so look out for this little brand if you like quirky little fun jewelry I just thought it was super unique and cute and then also since going to Italy over the summertime um, we got to go to Venice and we went to the island of Murano which is where all the Murano glass is from and blown and it was so cool to see how the people blow glass and all of the different things that Murano glass it was just beautiful they were all works of art it was so fun and so I've been really into all the like Murano glass type beads and stuff. I'm not saying that this is Murano glass by any means, but it definitely looks kind of like that style. I found this really cute beaded little like bracelet. Also all the little charm bracelets and necklaces have been so in lately. Like people have been going and making their own little like charm necklace and bracelets at stores that, have, that sell charms. And so this is just like right right in line with that and I just thought it was so fun and quirky and like I don't know it kind of reminds me of like a quirky art teacher so cute I love that it jangles I love that all the different colors and the fun little beads so I loved this for five dollars it was such a good steal for only three dollars and they kind of slightly give the vibes of the Bottega Veneta earrings they're just these little crescents right here and they hang like this and it's not the same as the Bottega Veneta but I feel like a lot of these kind of like bigger chunky um thick droplet type earrings have been really in and I don't have that many silver chunkier little earrings so I just thought that this one was pretty fun I also liked this I know I have been doing all of the like keychains and things on my bag and then I've also been getting into like brooches I haven't found that many brooches that I like but like brooches for cardigans are just like I don't know I'm into quirky right now so I saw this really cute little clay I could make these out of clay I don't know if I could make that glaze as well but this super cute little gingerbread man guy I thought I could attach them to a bag or my scarf or my beanie. Oh my God, that'd be so cute on a beanie. He just has a little pin in the back and he's so cute. He has a candy cane. I just thought he was super cute. And so I've been liking like things like this, keychains. This one was $5. Maybe I'll wear him on my beanie since it's only this month and then he'll have to go away. I've been really into thrifting jewelry over the last six months. I found these they don't seem as great of quality but they're actually something similar to what I've been looking for I've been looking for like rings and necklaces and bracelets with this so earrings were fine and they're just these little dice studs cute super cute for like the second holes or something three dollars and they're just like little tiny dice I got these these sound like Christmas but they're actually um, we have a large uh, Indian community in Yuba City where I thrift and so they have a lot of their like really beautiful clothing and jewelry oftentimes. So I think that this is an Indian jewelry piece and I'm not exactly sure if it's meant to be for the hand or the whatever, but I'm gonna use it as an anklet. So they have these little bells on them, kind of almost like the belly dancer bells. And they're kind of large. They look too large to me to be a bracelet, but I'm gonna use them as an anklet. And I think maybe that's what they are, but they're gold and they have like really beautiful little beige rhinestones with the bells. If you guys can see, so cute. And there's a two pack. And I think it's kind of cute that they make the little jingly bell sound. What are you doing? Ziggy's so funny, he got down just to go right back up. He does that a lot in his old age. He like gets down off of things and then he just goes to the same spot. Good job. Oh, there you go, same spot as you were. <laughs> okay, all right, these are a few little things that I found at the thrift store in town. I got this little Harley Davidson polo shirt. I thought it was really cute. I've been having to wear more polo shirts because Everett's been golfing and our golf course requires a polo shirts. This little Harley Davidson logo and this one I think was like 50 cents or a dollar because it was in the kids section, but will definitely fit. I got this at our local Goodwill. Um, it's a Banana Republic purse. It's brown leather and I just loved all of the little silver detailing and pockets like little mini pocket here and here 
so cute. I don't know what you put in them, but I just think it's really fun. And it almost gives me slight vibes of the Balenciaga Moto bag. Not exactly the same, but just with like all the little like hardware and straps and long things and little zippers and clutches and things. More of my cute little charms here. And you can also change this out for a different strap if you have a different strap because these come off easily, which I always appreciate. So this was $10. Now into the 50% off day at Bargain World. Everything is half the price that it says on here. First up is just this little white shirt. I need more like Henleys and just plain long sleeves for the winter time. So I got it for a little over a dollar, just from Target. Oh, this is fun. This was super cute, very summery, but the summery stuff is not picked over right now. And it is free people. I also got this for a little over a dollar. It is this white, gauzy, flowy top with a plunging v-neck line, little beads, and little rhinestones, kind of like a little bit longer. I don't know what they call this shape of shirt, but I just thought it was really cute, very like girly and boho, flowy. This is the kind of thing I like to wear in spring and summer anyways, so I won't be able to wear it for quite a bit, but very cute, even over like a swimsuit or something. And it was a dollar for free people, so that was awesome. <laughs> I love free people personally, you guys know this. I got this little Forever 21 tank top. It's beige. It has a little bit of like cutting and distressing on the like neck area. It was a little bit more than a dollar. It's just like a ribbed high, high neck tank top with some scrunching on the sides there. A little, another little American Eagle extra small baby, baby tank. I got it for um, a little over 50 cents. Cute. Everlast gym workout shirt, tight fitting little top, nothing to say here. Uh, this is a cute little garage. It's kind of like a bralette with a crisscross. Can you see the crisscross there in the front at the chest? I like to wear these underneath things or around the house, especially in the summertime when it's hot. This is basically the same thing, just without the crisscross. Oh, the this one was a dollar. And then here's another just a different style, crop top, tank top style, 75 cents. Okay, these were really fun and I like them, but sadly, I didn't realize they had a hole, but I can just like fix it up. And they are Shein, and I don't normally like to buy Shein because, right, they get holes, they're high, bad quality, but every once in a while, if it's just something really affordable, I'll buy it. These ones were $2, and they're just like black, stretchy pants, um, kind of like a yoga, yoga pant style and they have a bit of a flare at the bottom. So I thought they'd be cute for winter time and when I don't wanna put on jeans. I'm such a jean girly, but lately I've been like not wanting to put on jeans, which is very abnormal for me, but these looked comfy. So I'm gonna put these aside because I need to just sew them up right at that little edge spot. Ooh, I loved this. This is cute. I was so excited. This was $2. Red, yay, I found red. I've been looking for the like deep cherry, like chocolate cherry red, but I'll take this, especially for Christmas time. Um, this little red long sleeve, I love this kind of like tighter fitting material and with the like crisscross chest area, very festive, very fun. I'm actually going out to dinner with some friends tonight, so actually maybe I'll wear this. Oh, I got a little, what's this called? The one piece, the onesie, the, oh my gosh, why do I always never call this the right thing? It's a one piece. It's a, <laughs> you got, you guys know what I'm saying. The ones that snap on the bottom, buckle, the little play suit, whatever. Anyways, you guys know what I'm talking about. Just gray, basic. Like I said, I needed more of the like basic long sleeves. Here's another one, beige, Massimo, super basic, kind of like Hanley style or whatever. Got it for $1.50. The only sweater I ended up getting was gray. I have so many gray sweaters, but this one felt unique. Okay, here's why. It was $2.50. It's this dark gray. It has a polo collar, so I can wear it out to the golf course with Everett. Um, and it has fringe, which was fun. So the fringe is like, it wraps around the arm on the back to the front, and then around the back, it also had fringe. And it has a bit of like color variation in there. It's like dark gray with like little light gray, like, hairs in there so i thought that that was also really fun it's from the brand blue pepper and 
yeah, it was something a little bit different than what I had in the gray sweater category. <laughs> so it was cute. Yeah, that's what I ended up getting at Goodwill and at the first thrift store thrifty bargain, bargain world, bargain world. And so I hope you guys enjoyed this haul. I'm not going to try all this stuff on because I'm feeling lazy and I have some other things to do. So I hope you guys are okay with that. But let me know if you want any specific, maybe like outfits with any of these pieces or maybe I can try on some of the stuff on my TikTok or something. So yeah, that is it for this haul. I hope you guys enjoyed. I love you guys so, so much. Let me know in the comments down below, maybe like your favorite piece that I got or something that you've recently got. Also, are you thrifting any stuff for like Christmas gifts? I am. I'm not gonna spoil them because some of my family members do watch my YouTube, so I'm not gonna spoil, but I have been finding some little fun like repurposed gifts to add on top of what I was already getting them just because I feel like it was like specialized and it made me think of them. So yeah, that's been fun. Let me know if you guys are doing the same down below. Also, let me know if you guys want to follow me along for my clay bead keychain journey because I think that would be so fun. I don't know how I'd film it, but I'd figure it out. And that's all. I love you guys so, so much. And I'll see you guys very soon in my next video. Bye. Mwah! The doggies say bye in their sleep. <laughs> okay.